welcome to our canapes and cocktails with Candice. I hope you're going to enjoy your evening as much as I am. I would like to introduce our guest for this evening, but Candice doesn't seem to be here again. Candice? 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 Who's that? Oh, oh, you're oh, here. Oh, my God, that's right. I'm not DJ, am I? No, you're not. Oh, God. I get all so confused because I don't know what day it is anymore. <laughs> Lockdown will do that to you, honey. Oh, I know. My brain's all rattled and everything's jiggled and I'm just so confused. Oh, how is everybody? Oh, is there anyone out there? Obviously, there must be someone there. We're here and we're loving you. We've got about 20 people joining us this evening. 20? Oh, my God, I feel so special. God. Oh, well, it's welcome to Candice's Cocktails and Canapes or Canapes and Cocktails with Candice or oh, whatever you want to call it. But just have fun, enjoy, and just enjoy my frolics. And if I stuff anything up, well, hurrah, just enjoy it. So tonight... We're obviously going to do something nice and quick all for you. You know what Candice is like. She's a bit of a lush. She loves a drink. So she's going to hold off. She's going to do a cocktail second instead of first. And the first one she's going to do tonight is something nice little canapé. She's going to do a nice little frittata. And does anyone know what a frittata is? It's quiche. Nice and easy. Oh, this is someone else joining the room now. Oh, one's turned off. That'd be right, the cocktail one turns off. There's one thing when you wear jewels like this and you're going to do cocktails in one of these things, make sure they don't fall off and land in there. You know, what's that girl's name, the one who she got engaged, fell down the toilet, someone found it obviously in Bondi Beach, God bless them, but hold on to your jewels, your jewels girls, when you're using your cocktail, mate, because they certainly jiggle a bit. So our first one we're going to start with is going to be our little mini frittata. So... Can everyone see both machines? I gather, yes? We can. Okay. We can, good. I'm just going to keep that one there. So maybe a little bit about me and Thermomix. So Thermomix has probably been in my life now for about, ooh, probably coming up for a year, I'd say. Thanks to Tracy, Tracy Hill, she's probably on board. And then obviously number two came about oh, four or five months ago when I actually decided to earn one um, and become a consultant and thought, well, I need to branch out and be a little bit different to everybody else. So I decided Candice would be it. And with the support of my BDMs and my team leader um, and a new BDM, which we've got in step now, we've changed teams around, um, I've had amazing support and we're just going to grow this one a little bit forward because it's a little bit of a niche market that hasn't been tapped into by anybody at Thermomix from what I've Googled. So that's a little bit about me. Sorry I got the glasses on because I couldn't get my contacts in tonight for some reason. But I also, I look like a granny and apparently a friend said to me, I look like my mother. So that's a good thing, I guess. So let's get started with our little mini frittatas, okay? I've had cheated and I have chopped some of the stuff up and pre-weighed it, otherwise you'll be sitting and wait forever. And with gloves, it's a bloody hard job. Okay, we're going to go start cooking. Can everyone see this? You can. Cool. We've got the oven preheated already to 180. One thing about like Thermomix, it's made for dummies. So if you can't do anything, you say you can't cook, well, Let's just say the Thermomix will just make a fabulous chef out of you. Okay. Oh, okay, we've already greased the muffins now. With Thermomix, obviously the recipes tell you what to do. Sometimes Candice just likes to twist it around and, and tweak it a little bit. So where it said about like greasing the, um, the muffin tins, I've actually decided to do the frittatas in a wonton wrapper which is something a little bit different. And if you have a little vent, at least you've got a little bit of crunch and you've got two bites rather than it all dripping everywhere. So we've done those. Now this recipe does make 48, but tonight I'm actually only going to cook 12 because otherwise you'll be sitting there watching me trying to pour the darn things 
and you'll be cursing and you'll want to drink. Okay, we've got 15 grams of parsley leaves. So we're gonna pop them in. Your scales are all built into your TM6. Um, if you've already had the lid on, you take the lid off, it goes into negative. I've already done that. We're gonna re-zero it. Our leaves in. There we go. We click our next button. Welcome everybody, anyone who's new to watching me do all this. It is only about my second or third live one, so we all learn along the way. You're doing well. Okay, <laughs> okay so five seconds. Speed six. In the chat. What's that? I was just saying, if anyone's got any questions as we go, pop it in the chat and we'll be able to um, help answer that. That'd be great. Thanks, Amanda. Okay, and we're going to turn to speed six really fast. And off she goes. Take a look, please. Bing bong. Now, one thing with the TM6, sometimes we don't always know, is there is sounds that you can actually have and the length that it bing bongs at you. I've turned my volume down and I've actually shortened the time because it drives you bonkers. Okay, there's our parsley leaves, all dust. Oh, smell is just beautiful. Okay, done. Next, we're going to transfer these back to the bowl because they're already dry. So with our blades, you've got a cutting side, you've got a blunt side. If this was going in reverse, that's your blunt side. It's not going to chop your meats or your veggies up. So when you're actually emptying, always go in your clockwise direction. So you're actually not going to damage your blades with your um, utensils, but always try and use your spatula that comes with the machine. Um, I actually have quite a few now um, because I'm always using them. And your extra, extra spatulas and any extras that you want for your thermo, thermo machine are available through the mix shop. And when you get on there, it's just like going to Myers or David Jones, just get your credit card out or get your zip pay going. Right, pop those back. We're gonna go back to there. And now we want some Parmesan cheese. Now, anyone with staples, you go along, you go to Aldi, you go to Bullies, Coles, whichever one, and you always buy the, the stuff that's already done. Now, do you know that's actually got wood pulp in it? And you're paying for that with your thermo, you can actually make all your grated cheese and your shredded cheeses all in this. This back on, next, and we're gonna to go to speed 10. Now this is the maximum. This is like Mark three going off into space. You know all those billionaires that have been wasting all that money? They could have been giving it all to us instead. <laughs> And now we've got our grated cheese, all done. Now that goes at about, oh, I can't remember, it's 25,000 rounds per minute or 250. It's something very fast anyway, but I'm sure I will want my fingers in there, that's for sure. Next, transfer to the bowl. I mean, you can guess what's gonna happen. Right, here comes the fun part. Now we're gonna start cooking. Now, most people, when they were preparing, they'd have all these things measured out. With things like this, you can actually just measure directly straight from your bottle. 40 grams of olive oil. Next, 100 grams of shallots halved. So I'm doing the green shallots, but I also like the eschalots as well. They've got a little bit more punch to them, let's just say. So I've done about 50 grams of each. Throw those in there as well. Everything always measures, which is great. And we go next. Three garlic cloves. Oh, gotta love garlic. Oh, especially around this time. You'd hope it'd kill COVID, wouldn't you, really? Next. Okay. Back to our lid going back home. And we're going to go to an eight.
Now, it does actually tell you up when it's on a lot of those modes, especially when you're in cooking. So whether it's chopping, it's mixing, or it's grating, things like that. So it'll always be there. So we've got that, all our shallots, our garlic, all diced. Now, sometimes if you find it's not enough, you can go back on your recipe and then do a few more seconds. But sometimes it will actually tell you uh, if it's not right, just prolong it and actually do a little bit longer. So we scrape down our sides. We're going to go next. And okay, I'm not really a big fan of aubergines out there, but probably some of you are. So I decided I'm replacing mine with a little bit of cabbage. So I've already diced a little bit of it up. I'm going to throw that in there. And in the English recipe, they call it a courgette. Over here, we call it a zucchini. God knows why I've got such a strange language, don't we? Okay, so we're going to throw 150 grams in of those and 200 grams of red pepper. Now, the beauty is with a lot of this, you don't have to like neatly do it. You just chop it randomly, throw it in because your thermomix is going to do everything for you. And it saves those fingers. Next. Next. And we're going to now turn it to a four. So it's chopping at a lower speed for six seconds. Now you can't go reefing this lid off because it will tell you what it's doing. Now there's, look at that, all those vegetables all fresh and you know what's actually in it rather than from a supermarket you don't know. So that's now all done and we're going to scrape down the sides and it wants to it's just a quick note for everyone. If you have a recipe and you've got an ingredient that you don't recognise, do a quick Google, especially if it's off the US cookie dough or anything else. So you can work out, as you said, um, what weird and wonderful name has been assigned to it by someone else. I know, especially with some of the recipes, I've actually taken quite a few of my filters off. So mine are all a bit around the world at the moment. So I've got ounces and I've got grams. So that's why I probably get a little bit confused. And I never know what colour or what day it is. So this is now going to cook on Varoma, which is the highest heat. Now, Varoma, if you're actually doing something, you'd actually be steaming. So you could be doing your dumplings, you could be doing a meat, you could be doing layered cooking, anything like that. But because we're going to cook the vegetables, it's going to go for six minutes. The blades are actually going to go backwards, so it's not going to mush it all up. It's going to still leave them in nice chunks for us. And we're going to turn that on. It goes to her back. Stop. There, now we go. Okay, six minutes, blades backwards, and that. So now it's going to be the best part. Guess what Candice is going to do? She's a bit thirsty, so she's going to now make herself a cocktail. Anyone else want to join me? She's making it a little bit spicy, this one, too. All right. Is this going to be a yeah. red hot cocktail, like your red hot outfit, Candice? Is this what? Going to be one of my retro ones? Is it going to be one of your red hot cocktails? Oh, oh yeah. It's, yeah, this one's really different. Actually, I'm quite surprised when it goes because I always like something a little bit different. So this one's got jalapenos in it. I mean, who thinks think of putting jalapenos with gin? Obviously, somebody out there did. And I'm just checking. I've got everything. Yeah, I've got it over here. I'm going to walk around and go on the other side because I've got the other machine there. Now, this is the beauty when you've got two machines because you can do lots. So I've got four bowls, so I can do a shitload now. Excuse my expression. I hope there's no kids watching. Right, okay. Let's get this one, this puppy going. Now, I've actually saved my recipes that I'm doing tonight. You can't see me, can you? No, I'm just going to turn the cameras back a bit. There you go. That red lipstick's really good, isn't it? It's a new one. I hope it comes off. Okay, so on my week, I have now got, if we did on that one there, I hope you can all just see it, yep. So we're going to go to the sizzling jalapeno cocktail. Right, let's go start cooking. I'm getting thirsty already. Yes, I'm overriding the last recipe. We didn't want that one. Okay, cocktail glass. 
Oh, I've done the good guy and here's my chilled cocktail glass already. Right, been, been in the fridge for ages, it's nice and cold. Okay, so this recipe is actually in ounces. So it's obviously American, obviously. So we're gonna do one and a half ounces of gin. Again, it's all gonna be measured for us. Uh, and touch for good measure. There we go. Such a rush. Here we go next. Okay, half ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice. Okay, there it is there, nice. Fresh off of my trees at home. Next, one ounce of ginger beer. So this has really got me because I've never had a gin with a ginger beer before. So this is really going to be something different. Oh, at least it's more alcohol than anything else. Next, half an ounce of agave syrup. Now this was lucky that I actually had this in the pantry. Oh, I don't know how many people have things like this in their pantry, but. And they are so accurate, these scales, it's unbelievable. There we go, 0.5. How many others, how many other machines are out there that have actually got built in scales? Not many. Okay, one fresh jalapeno. So, Chuka's girls, this is gonna be interesting. I've got no idea, I have not tried this. So, you know, little, unfortunately these ones are actually not gonna be available anymore, I found out. The little thermo servers are fantastic, hot or cold. Now these ice cubes have been out for the time now, seven, oh God, about two hours. Look, it's still firm as anything. One, two, three, four, five. Next, pop the lid back on. Oh, this is when the magic happens now finally. Oh, 10 seconds at four. Wait for it, girls. It's done. It's done. Oh. Hey, Rachel's worried that your poor gloves are getting dirty. No, they're not. Not at all. No. Probably because I've done all the chopping, but I will be doing all the chopping with my gloves on anyway. Okay, so we're going to pour this into a nice ice cold glass. Wow. Whew. That smell good. And this one only makes one, so if you've got others. Ooh, yep, you can smell that. Right, and we're going to garnish it with some lime wedges and some jalapenos. So I'm just going to get them out of the freezer because they're still nice and frozen because it tells you to pre freeze your jalapenos. So we'll pop three in there. And we want some lime wedges. Just really quickly there. Um, yeah. Some of the recipes involve doing some steps a little bit earlier. So a really great idea is if you want to try a new recipe, have a read through just to see if there's any steps you can do to um, speed up the process, especially if you're entertaining very thirsty guests. Exactly. Now I'll come back around the other side. Oh, wow. Oh, I Candice, well, Sean Cole, sleep. Sean Cole is loving this and wants this to be a regular Friday night show. Oh, holy Moses! <laughs> yeah. I say Sean is a massive RuPaul fan, so right up his alley. <laughs> oh. oh my God, girls, you got to try this one. Ooh. Mm. We'll be definitely having this at one of the. Um, Wonderland gatherings, that's for sure. Whew. Yeah, that's got some nice, that's got some kick. And look at that. I managed to make a cocktail all while I was cooking. Oh, isn't that amazing? God, that's what you can do with two thermos though. Okay, so we're going to strain this through a sieve. I'm going to try and aim the camera because I want to show you a little trick that the lovely Nat, um, showed me, which I had no idea about, with our summer baskets. 
we're obviously going to drain any of the juices here. So I'm just going to hold this while I do it. Yep, so now I can see why they want you to ouch. Do that. Love doing it when it's going in the wash. Sorry, everyone, you can't, can only see my backside instead at the moment. Candice, are you multi purposing your thermos accessories for other items in the kitchen? Say that again. You're multi-purposing your other Thermomix accessories for other items in the kitchen. So less washing yes. up, less clutter. Oh, God, yeah, yeah. So um, your Thermomix does about, um, let's just say about 20 um, items um, out of the, um, hold on, let me just jump into the reserve parts there, just pop some salt in. So it does replace a lot uh, of items that we've had. So this is a little trick I want to show you that Nat showed me. And let's hope it doesn't stuff up on me. So when we're actually getting the little, our um, simmer basket out, um, if you're doing rice or pasta or vegetables in there, and that you've got a little hook on the side which actually lifts it up. But if you actually tip it, it's not going to work. It's probably stuck to the damage. Uh, oh well, thing as it is. There we go. It's a bit of a mess, but who cares? There are two oh. on your um, simmering basket, so you can actually tilt it so it sits in the top of the bowl unassisted and to drain for you. There we go, and we're going to turn. Blade's going to go backwards. It's going to go at speed three for five seconds. Sorry about that, guys. I was trying to demonstrate it, but it all stuck to the bottom of the basket and how it came. So this is that's mixed the parsley in with the salt and all the other vegetables. And we're gonna go next. And now we go, oh, this is fun. It says you get to divide it between the tarts. <laughs> God, it's the biggest tart on the tea at the moment, isn't it? Right, food, and off we go. So as I say, this actually makes 48, but tonight I'm actually going to make the 12. So this is just the basic part first off. Oh, it smells good too. The beauty is with a lot of this stuff, obviously, like, um, say you were thinking, I want, I want to make a little bit of a tartar up, and um, you were going through your recipe, and you're like, oh, I didn't have this, I didn't have that. Are you going to race down to the supermarket and get it? Probably not. So the beauty is you can actually use a lot of the stuff that you'd actually have in your um, fridge up. Um, and also the beauty is like if you're um, are quite, quite health conscious and budget, budget conscious, the word is, um, you can make a lot of this stuff like your own vegetable stocks and all those veggies that you would normally just throw if they were just turning and you catch them right, just throw them in and make your vegetable stock up. You always get about, oh, I think it's a good, no, almost three showers. Would that be right about Amanda? Sorry, what was that, Candice? Uh, when you're making your own vegetable stock, it's about, about three good jars, isn't it, from the recipe? Oh, look, well, depending on um, the quantity that you're putting in there, but say you fill the bowl to the top, your vegetable stock paste will give you anywhere from 15 to 20 tablespoons of stock paste. And one tablespoon is equivalent to one stock cube from the supermarket, but without all the nasty additives and preservatives. Um, and it will last in your freezer for up to six months, but I'm realistic. Mine lasts me about a month at a time. But one of my biggest savings, Candice, is the fact that all the squishy, disgusting vegetables in the bottom of my crisper actually get used. So I probably <laughs> use about $20 a month um, and I use it in at least five or six recipes a week. Oh, oh. oh everyone will love it. This one hasn't been used yet. This is a, this is a new one. And that's so 
Extra bowls are very, very handy, especially like if you're having to do um, vegetables and you've got meat going in another one, or a bit like what I've got at the moment, I've got some um, leftovers. And if you actually wanted to, actually I can, oh, man, I just thought of something. Oh. What, Candice? Well, because I can actually keep these hot. I just realized we could use the little silicon cover. You can. Well, these are yeah. You can keep the heat in there, and the reason is, is the bowl's already hot, so it's going to keep the ingredients even hot, rather than actually switching it over. So what Kevin is talking about, you can actually get some silicon covers that fit your TM6 bowl and also your 2.6 litre round thermo service and they're airtight. So you can use those to put them in the fridge, keep them <laughs> do anything else you like. Oh, so I just realised that. Oh. <laughs> okay. Right. Now this was one great big egg. I mean, the poor little chicken that had to lay this. I mean, hey, yolks. Oh. Must have been in agony, I reckon. Well, then they go. Oh, yeah. Poor thing. Dying. Okay, eight medium eggs. And we want a little bit of salt, so let's do a little pinch. Go. And next. Oh, you don't want any pepper. Now we've got a bit of Chinese five spice. I don't know why we need pepper when we've got Chinese five spice. And next. The reserved parmesan, that'd be great. Look at that. Nice if we're just making a nice bolognese. Now, speaking of bolognese, there's actually a couple of great recipes on it. There's one that's really, really fine. And the other one I really like is it's really chunky. And it's great if you're gonna make that honeycomb um, lasagna. That's not made with honeycomb, it's made with pasta. But you stand the little buggers all on in and you layer it all up. I worked out you had to put like a bit of a base there because they'll just fall down like Humpty Dumpties. Right, so Humpty and down. And we're going to get 10 seconds of speed full. Has anyone got the new tea towels yet? They're fabulous. Ooh. It's so quiet. And it takes a Oh, the poor hand having to stir everything. Right, it's done. Next. Okay, so we're going to pour the egg mixture over these little babies, over these tarts. Right, only a little bit each. And then they're going to go into the oven for about 15 minutes. Don't you dare. You just stay there. While Candace is doing that as well, I would love for you, because I'm a major cocktail fan, and one of the best questions I hear from customers is, does it do cocktails? I would love you for, to share in the chat what some of your favourite cocktails are, because they will inspire us for future episodes of Campes and Cocktails with Candace. Oh, yeah, I'd love to know. Candace loves a cocktail. I've actually got on my, on my um, collections... I don't know how many I've got. There's quite a few. I've got desserts. I've got canapes. I've got quick and easy. I've got international. But of course, I've actually got a cocktail one. Now, I do tend to adapt a lot of them as well. I'm just going to pop these little babies into the oven. So, Candice, I'm just curious, is the biggest list in your cookie do the cocktail one? Mm. Uh, I can't comment on that. I can't hear that question properly. I'm sorry. Can you repeat that? It all, oh, it, it just, it, you can't hear right now. No, no, no. I can't hear anything. It's, it's something about cocktails, but no, that would be the most minimal probably on my list, I guess. I don't know. Really? Oh, well, that's a shame because there's so many cocktail questions. And just a tip, guys, if you want to find some amazing cocktails, log into your Cookie Do account, simply type oh. the cocktail and the lists are amazing oh there's one there, i just went past one fabulous one that's a sorbet one i'm going to do that next but there's one in here which it just seems to be posted anyway anyone who's on the thermomix page will will have seen it oh. here is turkish it. You delight. Anything bookmark wouldn't you delight. so now can... turkish delight We've that's, got... that's the one. <laughs> oh look oh, we'll just stop this one is Watermelon and orange margarita. Oh, 
Look at that. I, I did that one last. Out. I made that two weeks ago. It's beautiful. Oh, it is? Mm -hmm. That's in the new cookbook. And at the moment, you actually get this and a 2.6. 2, 2. I can mention it's a 2.6. It goes wrong. And it, you get these as a bonus. I think it's from next week, I think, when you actually purchase a TM6. So, I mean, that's 200 and, oh, my maths. Oh, I was going to say $230 worth, something like that anyway. You get it free. We don't even have the word free. It's a bonus. All for buying a TM6. But there's always something going on. Okay, so can, can I just throw out there some of the responses we have had regarding their favourite cocktails from Trace, mm -hmm. we have the Don Pedro. I have no idea what a Don Pedro is, but I'm curious to find out now. Um, oh. From Rachel, we had the Mojito and Espresso Martini. Rachel. Yeah. You're a woman after my own heart. Um, I have an abundance of um, mint in my yard, and I think that's a sign for me that on weekends when it's warm weather, I need to make some mojitos. We've got the espresso <laughs> martini. Oh, well, well, that's definitely on. I know that. And I think from memory, if I recall, I actually did see a non-alcoholic version because, okay, there's a lot of us that do love a drink. Candace loves a drink. One, two bottle especially a wine good red catch me on a good night we'll, we'll polish up a few bottles of red together um there's a lot that are non-alcoholic which is really great so you can make those and especially if you want to enjoy a nice cocktail and the kids want to join you you can make them a non-alcoholic version don't muddle them up because you might find them asleep on the lounge instead of yourself or or your husband one or the other we might be able to do some nice mocktails as well for you guys in the future. From Vanessa as well, it looks like Vanessa's cocktail list is rivaling your own. She loves margaritas, mojitos, Nespresso and the martini. Nat, you're on the same page. Mojito, how do I pronounce that? April Spritz? Oh, an April Spritz. Oh, we, well, we can make... Oh, there's actually one of those in... I think it's actually in the new cookbook as well with the yes. April and Prosecco. Yes. Yeah, oh. I'm still going to try it. Thank you oh. for these ideas, guys. This is some future inspiration for uh, future episodes of Cocktails and Canapes with Candice. We've got uh, the margarita from... The margarita is very popular, isn't it? Oh, it, it is. It is. Oh. I'm, I'm just moving my way down. Oh. Hang on a second. Well, well, obviously, I've got a lot of very um, alcoholic clients out there. I'm going to leave Sean's question alone. Tracy loves the dark chocolate vanilla ice cream and Kahlua and cream. Um, shared the anniversary cookbook and thermos server is available today with the therm with the TM6 purchase. So it's actually available oh. for today. Wow. There you go. You can jump off any of you and then you can hit my buy now button and that, this will be winging its way to you before you know it. So their little babies are actually cooking. Let's get off the cocktails for a while. Otherwise, I want another one. And that. Now, someone did say to me um, they get really tired of making dough. It hurts their hands and that. Well, you can do your dough in here, but I'm just going to do something really quick because we all love, we all love a little puff, don't we? Ooh. Ooh. So I'm going to make a quick puff pastry. Now, I'm actually going to do the part of the pastry, going to throw it in the fridge, and then maybe next week I'll actually make something with it because if you actually search when I did puff pastry, there's this whole list that came down below. There was like prosciutto and cheese bread sticks and all that. So more of the canapé stuff that we can go into. But the list is endless and it's just so nice making your own stuff. So oh, I'm going to have to go to the other machine again now, I think. Hold on. I'll move everything over this side. Is Trent watching? Because he's the one who asked about the dough. Not sure. I'm just monitoring some of the questions. Um, oh. Need a bowl. So, just a quick thing, um, Candice. What are some of the benefits of being a? Because I know for a lot of people, puff pastry is like a way too hard in the too hard basket. So, what are some of the great things you can use the puff quick puff pastry recipe for? And it really is quick. It is quick. Well, one of the what's today's one of my favourites. Hold on, I'll just come back around this side, guys. Um, 
Portuguese egg tarts. I've got to move my camera again for you. There you go, now you can see me. Um, Portuguese egg tarts, um, any of your flans that you're going to make. Um, if you want um, fresh meat pies or you're going to make, you can make it a little bit sweet as well. So then you can do your custard tarts. Takes it away a little bit from having the, sh the shortbread because you've got that nice buttery um, flavour through it. Um, the lift is endless, really. And because you're making it yourself, you can actually freeze it as well. So then if you've rolled out your slab and you haven't quite used it all, well, I think the only time I ever heard slab was on, I think it was Rocky Horror. Oh, well, so change the subject there. Um, yeah, so we're going to do 200 grams of unsalted butter. And that, now it's actually frozen. So I did a little bit of a cheat. I actually chopped it first and then stuck it in the freezer. To keep it easy. So just going to chuck those babies in. Now, now this is where my gloves are going to get dirty, I can see. Ooh. Oh, lucky he's still got muscles. It's oh, all those push-ups I do, I think. Right, hands of butter. Is everybody still enjoying themselves? I hope so. They've probably got a cocktail or two. Right, 200 grams of plain flour. And the one thing now, when you actually have a thermomix, which I learned, is you don't tend to buy little packets of um, flour anymore. You buy those great big blooming sacks almost like not quite as big as the baker has but along those lines because you bloody go through so much of it because you're just making it all yourself rather than paying what's those companies pandos or candos whatever you call them um for them to pre-make it this is all your own so we've got next we've got 200 grams of flour and we're going to get 90 grams of chilled water okay so i'm just going to turn it this side i love a fridge that's got water on it don't you oh. If I only did gin or vodka, I'd be even happier. 90 grams of chilled water. Now, I was having a little bit of a chat to my team leaders over something that we've got planned when we finally get our lockdown. And that just got to get a little bit. Hold on. Oh. Yeah, got one over here. Yeah. Okay, so we've got it all in there. We've got three three ingredients, butter, flour, and some water. And we're going to add a little bit of salt because this one will probably be for pies or something. So it's just a little sprinkle. It does say half a teaspoon, but I've learned what it is. Next. Measuring cups on, next. And we've got five seconds, and we're going to six. Just check. It's releasing. You have to give this just a little bit of a slight blend. Look at that. All done. Six seconds and you've got your own puff pastry. I'm just probably going to give it just a couple more seconds because it's just got a little bit up the side. And I like to get it all in there. Oh, look at the flower. These are fabulous. Little, little brushes. Little dust out. Oh. Yeah. Now, also another little thing that probably not many people know about forward. It's actually started with vacuum cleaners. And that, so, hence I suppose why they, they probably started with this, I guess. And they got a little bit bigger and then decided to put a motor on the bugger. Right, I'm just going to go back and I'm going to do about three more seconds at speed six because it wasn't quite all mixed. Oh, yeah, it sounds Come on, Luke, off we come. Can't rush these things. Okay. Oh, now look at that. So we're going to go next. We're going to tell us to put it on a lightly floured silicone bread mat or work surface. So these are fabulous. Yeah, these on the mix shop too. But also, if you wanted to, and you really feel you're really good at the thermo mix, you can actually become a consultant and you can earn these babies. Hey, oh, you can see me. So you can earn, these are fabulous. Now I can't use my gloves on this one, so I'm gonna have to 
spatula back out. Now, I'm just gonna move it to the side. Right here. It's stuck in there, here we go. Oh, look at that. Your own puff pastry. Now, I did say flour, but I've got sidetracked. Excuse me. Okay, so I want to throw out to our guys, have any of you actually made puff pastry from scratch before? <laughs> Silence is deafening, obviously not. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm just going to roll that in. Going to hit next. Uh -huh. So we've got to try and make a bit of a square. Yep. I'm not getting a tape measure out of this time. So I'm going to wrap this baby up here, just like so. And I think, oh yeah, this little baby is going to be ready in the... So look, nicely wrapped, recycled, so you don't have to worry about Filling up the garbage bin with that glad wrap. It's all in this little silicon mat that you can actually bake with. You can roll on it. You can do whatever you like. You can put your cocktail on it, I guess. So I'm just going to pop this in the fridge because we're going to use it at another time. And I'm just going to check how our little frittatas are going. And as I was saying, you can actually earn your thermo mix. Oh, look at that. They smell good. Oh, we're here now. You can all have one, but you're all, unfortunately, you're all stuck in lockdown. Look, like a, look at these babies. Look. Yum. Look at that. So in a matter of like, oh, God. What's that now? 45 minutes. Made a cocktail. I've whipped up some canapes. I've made up some dough. I've had a chick chat. And... That's not bad going, I reckon. How many of you could do that in 45 minutes? So, hey, Candace, are you happy if I jump in and just let everyone have a look at um, some of the awesome offers available at the moment and let us know if you want some more extra information about it? You can, you can certainly do that. Thank you. So just copy up on the screen, guys. We would love to know if you want to find out um, about more freebies. Um, so if you'd love to find out about how you get a free gift with purchase, our 36 month interest free at less than $17 per week until the first week of August. Now, Candice, you've mentioned your earn your Thermomix. So you bought your first Thermomix that you've got two there. So what did you do to get that second one? I earned it. So I um, had six, well, six cooking experiences now. Obviously, it's a little, bit, a little bit different since we've had all this COVID hoo-ha. So a lot of it you can actually do um, virtual and you can also do it hands-on. A lot of people love the hands-on because you can get more people. But also with the virtual, you can have friends that are in whoopity whoop and addity whoop whoop and up in Darwin and down in Tasmania. And you can all get together as a family still. And from doing six cooking experiences and selling six machines, I earned... Hang on, I can tell you which one's which. This one. This one's Louise. She's the new one. Dom was the first one. I named them, my girls. Um, yeah, so that's what I did. Um, but also, you can actually recruit and become a consultant um, if you have the passion for it and you think, well, okay, I can't really afford that, but I know I could actually sell them. I could sell them. I know that. I have faith in the machine. I love it. And you can work as a consultant and benefit. And look, you can work with me. Um, how much fun is you, Candice? So if you, want to enjoy, if you want to enjoy your own Thermomix business like Candice, let us know and we can send some extra information. Now, Candice, I know people love freebies, don't they? I do love it. I love a free cocktail. Anyone got one for me? This is good. But I do have, if you would like to earn some of the freebies that we had on offer tonight, you also have that Ooh. option. 
So if something here tickles your fancy and you'd like some more information on how to do that, let us know. Now, Candice, can people have their own personalised Candice experience? They sure can. They can. Um, when I do one, I do love to have six guests, though, because it does take me a few hours to get myself looking this, oh, I don't know what you'd say, vivacious? Yeah, I'd I, I use vivacious, yeah. Tonight I would. Actually, I got, got ready quite fast tonight. I was very impressed with myself. It only took you two hours to do your makeup? Yeah, it only takes me three, but I, do, I just a slight change. And as I say, yeah, I bought a new, like a new red lipstick and I'm really loving it. I just hope the bloody thing comes off. Uh, that looks all right. Yeah. Yeah. So if you want Candice or your consultant to give you a personalised cooking experience and have a lot of fun, you know what, especially for those of you who are in lockdown, now's the perfect time because we can jump online, enjoy, enjoy a cocktail and personalise the experience for you. Let us know. Um, and last but not least, if you would like to see future Cooking with Candace episodes, um, plus some workshops that we have available, then I'm just sharing. Bear with me. Okay, in the chat, I've just shared a link. Save that on your phone and you can actually jump on board and um, have a look at future events coming up and for those so you get an alert when it's happening um, and come along and enjoy and have some fun we are looking to make these uh cooking with uh, sorry canapes and cocktails with candace um rec regular episodes mm. these are good oh mm. yeah okay candace don't eat too many of them oh i had a black screen so i didn't think anyone could see me so i thought oh i'll just, I'll just have a little snack here it's all of you probably snacking. Hopefully, Sean most of you drinking what instead. What will be wearing next time, Candice? So What's got, that? Sean wants to know what wig you'll be wearing next time. Oh, I don't know. I haven't started yet. We've done the work. Does everyone like the red? Love the red. Yeah, yeah. Red, red always seems to be me. Everyone says I look like that 60s housewife. So, yes. There, there is an a, um, outfit in design. My, Fabulous um, dressmaker, Holly. She's probably watching. She is just amazing. She just reads my mind. She knows when I say something, bang, half an hour later, she's already got the design. So she's fabulous to work with. So I can't wait to see what she works out for my um, thermo mix outfit. We're plotting it together. It's going to be amazing. Um, but I did have um, a lovely chat with Nat the other week. We've come up with some fun things to do that obviously there's a lot of um, us adults and we've all got children um, I'd love to get involved with the thermomix and um, we've got something fun that's going to be coming up excuse me as soon as lockdown is over and it's going to involve a series and then we're going to have a grand winner but I'm not going to tell you anymore because if I tell you it all now I've got nothing to tell you in future events have I so they have to tune in to future episodes of Canapes and Cocktails with yeah. we, mm. did, we did just have a request, Candice. Yes. Another Theramix jiggle. Mm. What, should I put some more ice in there and to the jiggle? You can just give us a jiggle. Ah, oh, thank you for finishing up with Ooh. you. It's everything moving. Oh, I think I just lost a stone. Oh, God. That's one thing you gotta love with Thermomix. You actually eat healthy. And actually, that's probably one thing we didn't say, Amanda. I just realized something. That when I was doing my week, that when you when you obviously have your Thermomix, you get your cookie do subscription. And I think you get you get six months for it. Yeah, basically a dollar. Then you renew it. But when you're bored and you're sitting at work and you're having your lunch, you can actually meal plan what you want and actually put it on your iPad or on your phone. Then you get home and with bang, it's on here. And that from your computer, when you're using your cookie do, you can create your collections. Unfortunately, you can't do that yet. And I haven't quite got Bluetooth and I haven't got speakers on it yet because it'd be fabulous, wouldn't it? Oh, God, I wouldn't have to leave the room. I'd be able to party in the thermomix the whole time. You can do all that planning. And the beauty is if you haven't got a darn thing in your fridge, you've got nothing in your pantry, you can save it all add it to your basket and then it sends it off and then you go to Woolies and you pick up your bag of goodies 
all your shopping. Isn't that just fabulous? Thank yes. you so much for sharing with us tonight, Candice. So guys, as we mentioned, save that link we popped in the chat if you'd like to see future episodes of Canapes and Cocktails with Candice, plus some of our upcoming events. Um, we have a really amazing selection for you to choose from. Candice, thank you for gracing us with your glorious and glamorous presence tonight. Well, thank you very much. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. And that, and hopefully we'll be back shortly and then we'll be able to show you what I've made with my puff pastry or if you've actually even got a request that you find that you'd like with puff pastry, send it through to me and I'll do the best I can to make it for you. You won't be able to enjoy it, but I will. Until then, it's Candace saying goodbye and have a dang good cocktail with me. Thank you so much.